Hello everyone, welcome to this video where we are studying AZ-104 Microsoft Azure Administrator Lab exercises from GitHub and I'll give you the link in the end of the video. Um, in this, we started this lab, Manage Azure Storage, which is lab 07, um, three or four videos back, actually maybe five videos back. For each task, I have created one separate video just to keep the length. Uh, small and the video content manageable so we have already provisioned a lab environment created Azure storage manage the blob environment blob storage and we looked into how to manage authentication and authorization of your storage accounts and in the last video we created and configured Azure file storage and this video we're going to focus on managing network access for Azure storage and it will end uh, the six video series for this particular lab so let's get to it so this is six and five we want six and six is right here so in this one we're going to configure the network mm -hmm. access in the Azure portal navigate back to the blade of the storage account you created in the first task so we'll go there in the setting and click on firewall and a virtual network so let's go to our Azure instance and the storage account that we're working with is this one is the 104 07 RG1 store and here we want to go to firewall and virtual networks that's the blade the lab is asking us to go okay uh, click the selected network option and review the configuration setting that becomes become available once this option is enabled so so here we have the all networks and selected network is over here uh, click the select and review the configuration settings. So, if we click on this one, what are the configuration settings? So, you can add virtual network that you can use. You can uh, firewall, you can define that one, and you can uh, allow exceptions, allow trusted microservices to access the storage, allow read access to storage login from any network, allow read access to storage metrics from any network. So, a lot of different things you can configure once you do this so this is allow access from all networks but selected networks where you are going to configure and, and restrict your access alright so read the note you can use the settings to configure direct connectivity between Azure virtual machines on designated subnets of virtual networks and the storage account by using service endpoints so click the chip by add your client IP address and save the change so here if I click that one is picking up my client IP address and they're saying up uh, sorry go back in here uh, add your client IP and hit save so uh, you should be presented with the content of the MIT license page I was not presented with MI, M, any MIT license page at this time I go open another browser sorry open another browser in the in private window and navigate to the blob SAS URL you generated in the previous task okay so what we will do we'll open uh, in private window and we are gonna copy the link to the blob URL and we're gonna try to go to that one and here so I can save the file and read the content of it so I have access to that file so I can close this right now go back uh, to my lab note this is expected since we are connecting from the client IP so uh, we al we anyway we allowed uh, access from well we created a created a, a, a in private window that means no one is logged in but since I'm trying to connect to that file from this IP I have access to that file close the in private mode we have already done that return to browser window showing license and license blade of the Azure storage container and open the cloud shell pane okay so we gotta go back to uh, this is my storage where is my blobs let's see let's go back to my storage accounts and go to the storage accounts and go to blob services containers container and licenses license is that where they are specifically yeah, license blade on the Azure storage 
and open the cloud shell so at this point I can open the cloud shell by opening up the cloud so hitting this button right here or icon and while it's opening in the Azure portal open the Azure cloud shell uh, if prompt to select bash or select the parcel that's what I have already selected uh, from the cloud shell pane run the following to attempt downloading the file license blob from that container okay so that's a nice command I have never knew that anything like that exists but uh, okay blob sass url so I need to put the blob sass url one more time so let's get that one copy and go back over here in here uri is this so let's see what happens okay this one says missing something in the parameter list so what happens wait for the dialogue no this should refuse the sm message authorization failures this request is not authorized to perform this operation this is expected since you are connecting from IP address assigned to Azure VM hosting the cloud cell instance close the cloud cell pane so this is not really completely clear to me what it's really saying uh, in the Azure portal open cloud cell okay 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 so this is so the command that I try to run this command is not running from my local machine and my IP is only the IP that's allowed so cloud cell IP from where I'm trying to run this command is not allowed so I should get the authorization failure so but we got a different message because something is messed up though so let's uh, try this one more time but it, but you get the point what uh, we are trying to achieve in this uh, in this exercise so let's copy this one one more time I'm gonna try it one more time just to make sure that uh, just to see what happens okay if it doesn't doesn't work but we know what it's supposed to do I can put it under a quote mark uh, let's try that one paste and do this and there we go so authorization failure so I had to use the quotation mark uh, for that for that window for that uh, request okay uh, so what it is it says the authorization failure request is not authorized to perform this operation so again why is this because our uh, access we have only allowed access from the IP address you cannot you're not allowed to do this using uh, using the cloud uh, cloud shell IP from wherever I'm trying to run this command I think that was the gist of this story close the cloud shell panel so now we can close the panel that's the end of the lab we have completed every single steps and uh, cleanup this is always important so let's do the cleanup uh, am I, s I need the cloud shell one more time to do my cleanup work so let's uh, get back to it and it should be pretty standard by now uh, we run get az resource group name and then we pass this uh, az10407 uh, star to get everything all the resource group we are creating in lab 7 and then we pass all of that to remove azure group force as job uh, to get rid of all the resources that were created uh, as so i can directly run this to get rid of everything that i have and it should run as a job and get rid of all the resources that were created so just to recap in this whole series of labs in the last six six series of labs we looked at the Azure uh, storages we provisioned the lab environment we created and configured storage accounts um, we looked at blob accounts blob containers blob security then manage authentic authentication authorization using SAS and we also used um, Azure AD then we created a file share and attached to one of the VMs and then at the end in, the la in this uh, exercise we managed the network access for Azure storage now you can do a lot more with this but as far as the lab is concerned we have completed all of these steps now if you like the like the video please share with friends give me a like thumbs up and subscribe good luck with the exam thank you